Hi everyone. So in this video, we will understand about the base model of Pydentic and also we will understand the concept request body. So uh, when we are sending uh, the data to the API uh, as a client, then it is kind of request to body. And when uh, API is giving the response to us, then that is the response body. Okay. So usually like uh, every time API needs to send some response body but uh, that is not required that uh, client always send the request body okay so that is the thing and uh, to send the request uh, uh, we can uh, use post uh, mostly but uh, like we can also use put delete and patch uh, okay to send the data but uh, uh, to use get request it is not uh, uh, a right thing to do because uh, it has an undefined behavior uh, so we don't prefer to use get request while sending the data okay so now we will move to the pydentics base model so uh, in different frameworks right suppose you are you have worked on django then we were creating the models in that right so similarly we can also generate the uh, that kind of um, model structure database uh, structure by using pydentics base model so i'll go into my uh, code okay and uh, now i have already created a virtual environment so i'll just activate that so vnv scripts uh, scripts and activate okay uh, sorry i written some wrong name script uh, okay scripts and activate so as you can see my virtual environment got activated and this is the code for our uh, our uh, this is the sample code for our uh, uh, project okay so i have added a sync here so uh, we can also define this function as normally but we can if our api wants to get some asynchronous risk uh, request then we need to we prefer to add this async so it can access or it, it can main uh, like, uh, we can have asynchronous response into our API. So that is the preferable way to uh, write or define the function. Okay. So now uh, let's say we want to create some model. Okay. So here we have an item model. So we'll create one model. So class and we can give the name as item. Okay. It's just like we, we, are, we, we do in different frameworks, let's say in Django. Uh, we say class and some uh, model name okay and here i'll just copy and paste this okay so i'll just try to copy and paste this here okay so this is uh, this is the syntax uh, to generate uh, to create a model so before using the base model uh, we need to also import that so from pydentic uh, pydentic import base model so when you when you uh, download fast api then pydentic is already got installed so don't worry to install that okay so from pydentic import uh, base model okay so this is the model which we use to generate to create our uh, database models okay uh, okay so now uh, so this is the base model which we have uh, imported now let's understand this thing so as you can see i we want one name field so we have defined the name field and also we have given the uh, type of that name field as string and uh, for this uh, description field we have assigned uh, str and pipe symbol none is equal to none okay so this none is to define this uh, uh, this as a like we are defining the none as a default value of this description field and uh, like this is uh, defining that this is not this is the optional field so if we are not uh, like suppose we are not adding description then that also fine okay so by default it is required but when we are doing something like this then it is a non-required field okay so as you can see here in documentation as well that uh, in 3.6 and above version we need to use this union operator to to define it as a optional but uh, in a python version 3.10 or above we can just use this pipe symbol okay we don't need to use 
that union so that is the thing you need to know and yeah that's how you can define the optional fields and uh, here as you can see for text we have defined the type of this uh, text field as a float and uh, like this is how you can define the optional field and we are just defining the none so suppose you want to define the uh, define the default value of text as a 2 okay 2.0 something like this you can also define the default value right so we'll see that later so now uh, let's let's uh, let's uh, uh, return some some uh, item object so suppose we are passing uh, we will try to pass some some items okay so now i will uh, i will try to run this let's see what happened so now i'll just say uh, uv core and uh, then uh, our main app name and then minus minus reload okay so now it will uh, get start once our server will get started so as you can see it is started now uh, uh, yes as you can see that we are having something called detail and not found so now we'll go into our docs and uh, here you will have the api so this is the api which we have created for items and uh, currently as you can see we are not uh, like we are not able to pass anything here right so if i'll try to uh, like uh, assign one if you if uh, we want to take the item object then we can just define something like this so let's say item and uh, model name so model name is item okay so now uh, we can also return this item here instead of uh, returning json we'll just return the item so this is the item object for this item class okay so now let's refresh our page and as you can see we got the request body now as you can see that uh, that uh, uh, if i'll try to click on this write out then as you can see we can pass uh, request body here so now i'll try to pass raj and description uh, optional optional description or desk and the price i'm passing is uh, 12 rupees and tax currently i am having suppose 1.0 tax or 11.0 okay even number zero tax and execute this so uh, after clicking on execute as you can see we are getting the success response and with the uh, response body right so this is the response body we are getting and uh, and also like if i'll go below then uh, here as you can see that uh, we are having schemas details we will have here as you can see item schema detail is here so we have name uh, if you can see that this is a required field because star has marked on the name right and description is not required text is not required and price is required right and also we can see the uh, we, we can see that uh, we can see the type of this particular fields right so that's how you can generate a model and also you can return the specific models object and uh, we have assigned this as an optional so if i try to remove this field i'm not passing that that field anymore right and also for this text field also i'm not want to pass so that's that's also we can do so if, if i try to click on this execute then as you can see that uh, by default uh, it is giving us a null as a value right so that's how you can do um, like you can assign the means you you are not able you are you can pass the optional field so if i i can i can also assign the default value for this description so if i say uh, this uh, empty description let's say something like this empty description and if i'll try to run uh, refresh my page again okay and uh, as you can see by default it is taking empty de description so if i'm not passing anything let's say i'm not passing uh, if i'll click on this write out and suppose i'm not passing this description and it anymore and also i'm not passing text okay uh, let's say text i'm not passing so that also i'm not passing right so if i'll click on execute 
uh, then uh, if I'll go back, so as you can see that uh, if I go down, then here we haven't passed anything in a description, but still we are getting empty description here, right? So this is how you can assign the default values to the particular. It is uh, it is having a, so much functionality, like it is uh, converting the corresponding type as well. So if we are uh, passing string, then uh, if suppose the type of description is, uh, let's say some uh, different data type, then it is dynamically, uh, it will dynamically try to convert that to a specific, uh, specific, uh, it will try to convert that uh, field dynamically into in a specific uh, uh, field type. Okay, so that's how it it is very useful. So as I uh, mentioned that uh, in a in a documentation, uh, we can see the data types and all into this, uh, and also we can access the access the item object as well. So like if I'll try to go back and if I'll say something like if I want to do something like this like uh, if uh, if uh, if I got item dot text let's say if I got item docs dot text uh, in a request then what I want to do I want to return means uh, let's say I want to assign one suppose I'm assigning one variable let's say uh, uh, let's say let's say price let's say price is currently zero okay let's say price is currently zero and uh, then uh, I, I if I if our request is having text then what I will do I will just say item dot uh, price uh, plus item dot tax okay so I'll just add the tax as well okay and uh, okay and also we can have some uh, inbuilt functionality of uh, this use this pydentic base model so if I click on a dot here so as you can see that it is giving the uh, functions which we can use with this uh, object okay so by default it is also having the functionality like this so I'll just try to uh, I, I'll just try to add price is equal to price plus tax means plus or is equal to price okay so I just want to add the tax to the price so I'll just return the price uh, at the end so now uh, that uh, also we can do so I'll just uh, need to return the price in JSON format so I'll say price is and then say price right so now this tax we need to get from item dot tax okay so something like that we can do so I'm just writing some uh, random code here okay don't worry about that so I'll just refresh and uh, I'll just refresh my documentation and if I am if I am passing uh, text something like uh, let me click on try it out let's say I'm passing text as a 12 and uh, not sorry price is a 12 and text as a 2 and if I execute this then in a response as you can see we got price is 2 okay so by default uh, like it is returning uh, 0 which we have defined as a price and tax is equal to 2 so this is how you can also access the uh, access the um, items of the particular yes also we can uh, pass the like uh, we can also have some functionalities like uh, we can also have the path parameters uh, with the request body so suppose uh, like uh, we are having some uh, path in this uh, path parameters in this something like item id let's say item underscore id then also we can get that item id here so let's say i'm getting that item id here okay and i can also use that so that also we can do so we can return the item item id and also i'll just remove this uh, this lines and i'll just say uh, uh, item id item id and uh, then item id so whatever we'll add as item id then we can also get that here and we can also return this item object in the in the response okay so we can re return that like this so we are just appending uh, keyword argument as a item 
and we are just converting that to like we are just using the dict uh, this uh, function okay so now we can also have something like this so if i try to refresh my api so as you can see if i'm clicking on this and i'm just passing i'll just click on try it out and i'll just pass two and uh, yeah and that's i want to pass and i'll just give some name so let's say raj and if i'll click on uh, execute then as you can see that uh, it got appended means our item got appended in our item object got appended into this item id right so that's how you can uh, we can use the i means the path uh, parameters with this uh, uh, this request body and also we can use the query parameters as well so let's say uh, something like this uh, we have some query if you we are adding some query let's say uh, with this i path parameters and request body we are just want to add query as well means we want to get the query as well so this is by default we are adding it as optional okay so now let's say if uh, if uh, we have some query then we will uh, we will add that into our uh in in our uh, means uh, target means uh, our dictionary okay so uh, we need to assign the result dictionary as well so i'll just try to remove this and uh, i will just uh, assign that is it as a result okay so let's say we have this result uh let's say this result and uh, if we have query into our into our url then we will just up, update means update our dictionary okay and just we will return that so let's say result okay so now this is fine so now let's try let's refresh our uh, api and then if i if i if i am having uh like query let's let me click on this right out and if i am passing just item id i'm not passing query then let's click on execute so as you can see that uh, we are not getting anything uh, any query in this uh, response but if i'll try to uh, add some query let's say key is a query and if i'll try to uh, like add some uh, input name and then if i'll execute this then as you can see we are also getting the query into our target uh, response right so that's how you can create we can use uh, multiple thing at the same time okay so i hope you understood this uh, uh, concept if you did then please do subscribe to my channel i will make more videos in fast api and yeah i will see you in the next video till then keep sharing keep loving bye bye